The mystery of Amelia Earhart finally solved. Hello friends, welcome back to IO, I'm Charlotte, here to give you your daily dose of information. So you know Amelia Earhart, the American pioneer, author, and first female pilot to fly alone across the Atlantic that went missing back in 1937? The mystery surrounding her is one of the most famous unsolved mysteries because no bodies or the plane were ever found. Well after decades of speculation, aviation experts and conspiracy theorists finally think they know what happened to her. According to a picture that was taken before her flight, it shows a patch of aluminum metal on the plane that hadn't been seen in photos before. This picture is believed to be the only picture that shows this patch of metal. A piece of aluminum was found on a remote Pacific island in 1991, and it appears to match the piece in the picture. The piece was bolted onto the side of the plane as a repair for the window that was broken. This picture of the airplane was found in the vault of the Miami Herald, and the patch of aluminum could have been what caused the plane to crash. It is thought that maybe the patch of metal came loose. Amelia Earhart and her navigator Fred Noonan disappeared over the Pacific Ocean on July 2nd, 1937. Their planned landing point was halfway between Hawaii and Australia on Howland Island. According to the International Group for Historic Aircraft Recovery, they never found the island and ran out of fuel. They ended up making a crash landing on an uninhabited island called Nikumaroro, 350 miles from Howland Island. Once on the island, they sent out hundreds of distress signals from their plane, which were picked up as far as Melbourne and Texas. The signal was even picked up accidentally by a 16 year old girl that was listening to her radio at home in Florida. She could make out someone saying the words New York over and over. A week after the pair went missing, Navy planes were searching for them and flew over Nicomororo but saw no plane. Even though they saw evidence of human habitation, they didn't know the island was deserted since 1892. Amelia and her navigator were pronounced dead in January 1939 and were assumed to have died in a crash landing in the ocean. In 1940, a British Colonial Service officer said that he went to the island of Nicomororo to find a partial skeleton, a campfire, animal bones, and male and female shoes. A sextant was also found, which was the same kind used by Earhart's navigator. A sextant is a navigation instrument that measures the angle between two visible objects. It's believed that remnants of the crash plane were swept off the edge of the reef, so that's why no plane was seen. Amelia and her navigator lived out the rest of her days as a castaway on a deserted island. Anyways, guys, that's all for now. I hope you found it interesting. If you want to keep watching, click one of these two videos right over here.